the most important thing, the, the, the thing that's near and dear to me is a, is a project that I picked up six, eight months ago uh, with this hotel occupancy tax money. Um, I'm, I'm passionate. I guess I picked it up a little bit further back than that. And I guess I picked it up the year before last when I was put on that committee. Kevin asked me to serve on that committee <coughs> that reviews how our bed tax money is spent. Um, and as you well know, some of the decisions we made weren't very popular that first year. Uh, we, we took a little money from some folks and we sent it over into another direction. Um, and we reevaluated that this year. And I made the comment then and I stand by it that we're talking about a lot of money, folks. Um, I'm not a wealthy man, but a quarter million dollars is still a quarter million dollars. And it needs to be used uh, intelligently. And we need to make sure that we're getting the biggest bang for our buck that we can. That money's sole purpose is to promote our town and to bring tourism and visitors to our town. Uh, I'm passionate about hotel occupancy tax money. I think that that is, I think that may very well serve as a Rosetta Stone uh, for us discovering how to, how to bring more tourism uh, <coughs> business uh, in into town. Um, I talked at the debate. I talked about this economic study. The the number since the debate that has been floated around that I saw is that uh, that that economic study is going to cost us sixty thousand dollars. Those aren't the numbers that I was told. Um, we do not have a firm. We do not have a firm that we have contacted to do the economic study. I have a general idea what the economic study is going to cost. We visited with the woman that handles visitor and tourism for the city of Irving. Um, her first name is Morna. I can't remember her last name, but James, or, uh, Danny Smallwood and Annette Milius and I visited with this lady at TML. And she does this every day of the week. And her best guesstimate was for a, a town our size, that study was going to roughly cost $25,000. Do you have any idea where that the sixty thousand dollar figure got floated around from? I do not. There's nothing in writing that said that, right? We no. We we don't have. We've never, like I said, we haven't. In, we haven't. We have an initial meeting. Yeah, we haven't had an initial meeting. Yeah, yeah. Initial meeting on. Yeah. The CPR fund, the Community Progress and Research Fund, actually just started getting funded this quarter. Right. So the, the thought process was is, is build it up. You're taking ten percent off of. Of, of hotel occupancy tax money that's going into the CPR fund which will fund this study. The other thing that doesn't get brought up enough is so once this study's done you still got this money that's coming into the CPR fund what do you do with it then because I'm not a proponent of the city I made the comment to Christine and the XIT Rodeo and Reunion and the XIT Museum and all those entities the first year we redistributed money is that money doesn't do anybody any good sitting in a bank account. And I hold our, our, ourselves to the same standard that I'm going to hold Christine with the chamber who's receiving that money. That money's there, and, and anybody who knows Nick knows that this is a truly hypothetical situation, but let's just say for argument's sake, Nick blows through his budget. And there's a traveling exhibit about the Dust Bowl. And Nick says, hey, I really think this would do well in Dalhart. And I really think this would bring people in from surrounding areas and they could spend a day here and look at this and, and, and shop and eat. and Heck, they might even stay. So Nick comes and he says, but I don't have money in my budget to fund this event. That's where the CPR fund comes in and they say, you know what, we do. And we agree with you. We think this is a great idea. We think it's a good event. Let's, let's, let's fund it for you. And that's what I want to... That's what I want to keep using that money for. And it's, it's not that the city doesn't think that the entities that were distributing this hotel occupancy tax money to aren't doing a good job. But it gives the city, uh, it gives the, city the avenue to try some of the things that we want to try in conjunction with the chamber, with the museum, with the rodeo and reunion. Uh, and certainly we're all, we all have the same mission, and the mission is let's get people to town and let's let's take their money. So how does that fit in with what maybe the Economic Development Committee is looking at for the future of our community? 
I mean, are they going to be able to, I mean, I guess I'm just wondering, are they going to work hand in hand? Because once you kind of come up with an idea, I mean, can't, couldn't that be a, a benefit to trying to attract some of the businesses that we're sure. looking at? I mean, is there, I, have you... I think you can. I think you can work this deal as a set them up and knock them 